The Great American Baking Show. Can we eat the cookies yet? No, he's coming. I know he's coming. I can't wait anymore. I'm going in. Well, all right. There's more where that came from. It's cookie week. The bakers make 24 sandwich cookies for their signature challenge. On your marks. Get set. Bake. I think cookies make everybody happy. Who doesn't like a good cookie? Six bakers got to work on their favorite holiday cookie recipe. Are you confident based on the fact that you came in as Star Baker? No. Every day we get a clean slate. Star Baker means nothing now. What seemed like a simple task. I really need to get these in the oven. ASAP. 30 minutes left. Turned into a test of timing. I didn't make enough cookie dough. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to finish. My plan was to make a white chocolate snowflake, but there's no way I was going to have time for that. One, One minute. minute. Is this how the mighty fall? Five, four, three, two, one. Time's Five. up. That was crazy. Brian miscalculated. Seven. I know, I know, it's so embarrassing. Hector underestimated. Two hours is decent enough time. My filling, a filling actually takes over an hour to get done. You chose the wrong filling then. And Cindy. They all look very neat. Thank you. The interior with the pomegranate with the pepper right at the end dances like a sherbet on your tongue. Hit it out of the park. Well done, Cindy. We'll all be. In the technical. You'll be making twills. The bakers faced a recipe they had never seen before. We are making twills. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> this is not easy. It's hard, you know, with the nerves, your hands are shaking, and they're just not perfect. You got to make sure it's filled all the way, and there it is. This is like, do not try this at home, like, dangerous. It's getting twill tense in here. <laughs> In the end, it was Brian who came out on top. It feels really good. I want to go back and make some more twills because it was fun for me, and I think that's why I performed so well. With one challenge left... You guys will be making a winter wonderland gingerbread house. The bakers were given their most difficult task. This is really a challenge where you have to bring all your skill sets to the table with this one. You know, your baking aspects, your decorative aspects. And I'm not an architect, so we'll see how that goes. One of the key things is to make a solid structure. So they have to be engineers and architects as well as bakers. I think I'm doing good pouring the sugars, but stained glass windows, my father's church. Once the dough is finished baking, it is time to begin the delicate task of assembling the structures. Nice, you're on to assembly, Hector, that's good. It's gonna be a pain to assemble, but I'm gonna try. This is gonna break, just not on here straight. Let's get the roof on. Can fix this royal icing later. Structure is most important right now. Hopefully it will hold. Building a sturdy structure was difficult for one baker. Well, Molly. It looks great. That's exactly how it should be. And Cindy. Looks amazing. I love the way you've done the outside. You've even got the solar panels on. Wowed with their gingerbread structures. Hector, who was famous for his flavors, didn't deliver. There's certainly spices in there, but it, it was called the gingerbread. We expected a little bit more ginger in there. Ending his time in the tent. The person leaving the tent tonight is Hector. Well, Cindy was awarded her first Star Baker. Star Baker definitely feels like my whole family was with me. I take them with me every time I walk into the tent.